In there are discrepancies over what Chicago police say they saw moments before opening fire early Saturday morning, killing a 24 year old father. Our Jackie Kostick is live outside Chicago Police Headquarters with what we know about this so far and also what the man's family is now calling for. Jackie. Ryan and Audrina, good morning. The lawyer representing the family of Reginald Clay Jr. says a lawsuit could be filed in this case as early as today. Now, he and the family and others came out to Chicago Police Headquarters yesterday to call for transparency in this case. Now, discrepancies are coming to light between what Chicago Police say happened Saturday morning in Lawndale and what the Police Oversight Board, COPA, says happened. Specifically around the question of what what police saw in the seconds before firing the shots that killed 24 year old uh, Reginald Clay Jr. Police say Clay turned toward the officer with a gun. COPA's version makes no mention of that, but did say a firearm was recovered on scene. The lawyer for Clay's family says traditionally, if there is a gun in someone's hand, Chicago police will make a point of referencing it, which they did. But he says COPA backed off that statement quickly. CBS2 legal analyst Irv Miller agrees. The problem is, if there is no corroboration, if it's if it's an open question mark as to whether or not the gun was in his hand, was in his pocket, was on the ground, that makes it tough for a prosecutor to decide whether or not this was a justifiable shooting. Specifically, the lawyer and the family are calling for Mayor elect Brandon Johnson to get involved and ensure transparency throughout the process. Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News. Jackie, thank you so much.